before when we, when the user inputs data, you should really write print space user input number. Now, this could be a lot quicker, but first for the num, as before, is a variable, and this time it's got percentage instead of dollar, we're showing that only an integer can be stored in this, so, it, so you can work with integers, as in you can times, divide, and cube them, etc. So, instead of doing this, we can make this quicker, so write input. and then the, the text to be written and then plus and num no, just right num with dot with percentage sign here's the text to be written and after the quotation marks Here's the variable to be stored. I press there, 6. It will store 6 as a number. At the moment, we're not doing anything with the number. So, if I write here, no, percentage equals, right. and I write, and I want to triple it, so I write num percentage times 3. So, what I've done here is this is a new uh, variable, new version of the variable. So what I've done: new version equal old, old num here times three. So we're just replacing the value of num from from let's say six to so eighteen. Because if I write a six here, then the six times three equal eighteen. All right, and then we write print. And no, there's no need for. Uh, there's no need for a uh, quotation marks because at the moment it's just we just write in the value here. Quotation marks is a set piece of data such as please enter a number. This is just set, but since this is changing all the time, we don't put quotations. But at the moment, this will not work. As I'll show you. Anything accepted it, but usually, as a standard, you can do this. You should put str dollar this this. This will convert the number to be a string. In other programming languages, this is not acceptable. But uh, basic is very lenient. Right. So I just try this again. Six eighteen. There we go. So we're converting the number to be a string, so we cannot manipulate the number anymore after this. Also, it allows you to put text next to text. Right, and you can you can you can do other stuff with number times three, you can times by eight, and times by ten. But also, you don't have to times it. You can divide it as this, or you can add. So far, right. Five, five add three is eight. I can also to the power of so shift and six number to the power of three. Four add two to the power of three that gives eight. So I can write please in, enter a number print. Here, and I'm gonna write plus here. There we go. Here, print. This is a set value. Printed plus a string and number. 
Right, when we've written this, it's now essential to put the string because we're dealing with all of it with strings. This is a string since this is text. And if you deal with string and text and a number, it wouldn't work. So if I remove this now, this will not work. I mismatch in this line because we have text and we have a number. They don't go together. I have to convert this to a string, so str, there we go, no, we have to put dollar here, show that it's a string, and brackets around it. Let's try it now. There we go. Alright, thanks for listening.